hey guys welcome back to another video as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail today's video is going to be how to achieve this very 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 cute very glam version of a um well let me look on this side because this is the side where my heart is but a very cute um red glitter half cup creeks valentine's day look with the red lip and y'all i am so in love with this look oh my freaking god not even gonna lie i did have some trouble at the beginning trying to achieve this look but it came out beautiful and i am in love with it i keep looking at myself in my viewfinder because i can't get over how freaking cute this is y'all i love everything about it it came out the way i wanted it to come out i love the lip it's a cute very cute um red sultry burgundy uh matte lip and then for the eyes i have in my crease pink it had like a little hot pink i have a little bit of red if you guys can tell i also have black and then i have of course my red glitter and i just freaking love it i know you guys can't wait to see how i achieve this look if you do recreate this look please make sure to i guess tag me or something i don't know I'm, I'm not the biggest youtuber there is but i definitely did not see anybody do this look so i feel like i kind of like created it if i'm wrong i will make sure to correct myself but if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please make sure to stay tuned to this video and before we get into this video please make sure to leave a like on this video because i know this look is very very cute also make sure to comment down below uh, any videos just as you guys like to see um turn the post notifications and with that being said let's get right into the video first i'm going to start off with this rose pink color it's not a true pink it's more like a purple tone pink it's like a purple and pink mixed together and i'm going to be using this as my crease color so i'm going to pack this upon my crease first then i'm going to later on going to use some lighter shades to blend this out So I'm making sure to pack this color very, very heavily because it is a lighter color, more lighter than the colors that I usually use for my crease. So when you pack the color, like keep packing the color upon, it's gonna get a lot more bolder and a lot more pigment. And that's what you want, especially if you are doing more colorful looks like this. So I have this color pretty much lit out. Now I'm gonna go in with another shade to blend the edges out because so now that you guys can see, I have this very, very cute, um, it's like a true high pink so you guys you don't have to use the exact same shade i mean the exact same palette i have i'm gonna link down the description box below the palette that i have but you don't have to use this palette you just use any rose color pink or any um hot pink to do this look So now I'm going to go back in with that previous shade, the first shade that I used. I'm going to go back in with that and I'm just going to build that back where it was at. Uh
I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is going to be the lightest pink that I put on my crease. I'm going to go in with that and I'm going to put that right under my brow bone to give it a more gradient ombre effect. And now I'm going to go back into each shade that I applied on my crease. I'm Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's not a pure red. I, I really wish it was, but I don't have an actual pure red shade. So I'm just going to go in with this um, closest red shade that I have right now. And that's in the BS Cosmetics palette. I'm going to put that right above that first pink that I applied. Okay, so y'all, it took way too long to cut this crease, y'all. I don't know why, but this one right here, this eye right here, this crease is like, it was not doing right at all. So it took me extremely long to cut my creases. But as you guys can see, I went ahead and did my full cut crease. So now I kind of don't know exactly what I want to do. I had a look at mine, but now that I think about it, I'm a little scared to do it. I'm a little scared to go straight from pink to black and that's what i was originally going to do so i'm gonna see y'all hopefully it turns out right honestly i mean i could just go ahead and do another look but it's not another look that i really had in mind so i'm think i'm just gonna go ahead and go for it if it looks bad then honestly it just looks bad but i feel like you know as long as you have a little, don't mind that was my phone but I, like i was saying as long as you know how to blend then honestly you should be fine so i'm gonna go ahead and apply black y'all already know my favorite black i know y'all know my favorite black is the back it's a black in the back to brazil palette i'm gonna be using it and i'm gonna pack that on the outer v the outer v and the inner corner of my eye like i said earlier i am doing an in i am doing a halo eye so in order for you to do that halo eye, you have to have one color on the outer V in the inner in the inner corner of your eye, and then you have to have another shade in the middle. So I'm gonna apply my black in the inner corner and the outer V's of my eye. And I'm just gonna pack the black on first. I'm not gonna blend it out yet.
honestly y'all honestly y'all if i really gotta be honest i don't really know where this look is going i really had a very very good look in mind but now it looks like it's coming out more smoky more than anything but i'm gonna just try my best try my best to get this to be how i was playing for it to be it's a look that i came up with i didn't see anybody do this look yet so i'm a little scared but you know with the faith and everything i think it's gonna come out right so this is honestly, I didn't want to do this much black from the beginning, but I kind of had to once I put my, once I did my crease or whatnot. So I'm just going to go back in with that dark pink that I used. I'm just going to go back in with that dark pink that I used um, at the beginning of the look. I'm going to go in with that and I'm going to pack that on like around on like the edges of this black to blend this black out because it is extremely harsh and it looks extremely crazy right now. So that black was testing my gangster for real for real. It took way too freaking long to blend that black out, y'all. I had to do so freaking much to blend this black out, y'all. So basically what I did was I went in with a shade that was like a little bit darker than a pink, but it wasn't it wasn't a pink. And I just went like around the edges of the black with that. So it ve very extremely confusing and irritating, but I had to do something or else I just got to wipe all of this out honestly. So I mean the look is pretty much I mean it's definitely look definitely a lot better than it did at first but it still doesn't look the way I planned for it to look but regardless we're gonna keep on with the look because why not so anyways uh I guess to lighten then lighten this look up I guess we're gonna be using some glitters today and I originally well I was gonna do some glitters but now I know for sure I'm gonna do some because it ain't no way around it but I'm gonna be using some red glitters as you guys can see this is the same glitter that I've been using on every video every video that I've been um, doing recently and I'm also gonna be probably doing two glitters today I'm not really sure I'm really leaning more towards just using the red one but if I like this one with it then I'll probably use this one as well I promise y'all well I can't really promise now I doubt this gonna be the last look that I do with glitters honestly because I do got like one more look that I want to do that has to do with glitters but this red is so cute and it literally screams like Valentine's Day and stuff like that I'm trying to show y'all this is how it looks I don't know if y'all can really see if it's blurry or whatnot but this is how it looks it's a true red and I really want to use this one today so have this shade right here it's like I don't know I guess this is purple and this is not really the one I was looking for I think I have a pink one too I'm gonna go look for my pink one. if I don't have a pink one then I probably end up just using this one I knew I had a pink one this is the pink one right here so I'm gonna be using this one instead I think this is pink y'all I'm not sure y'all let me see look like pink but all these lights in front of me I can't really tell Ooh. I like this one I probably just use this one by itself then let me see y'all let me see I really do like this one but I think I'm gonna stick to the red one because that's the one I really want I probably do another look with this one but I'm gonna go ahead and apply some glitter glue off camera and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my glitters so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the red one just because that's what I was gonna do originally so I'm gonna apply the red where you guys see the glitter glue at so it's like I said earlier it's gonna be more like a halo eye So I'm going to apply the rest of the glitter off camera and I'm also going to do my complexion off camera, off camera as well and I'm going to be right back when I'm about to get ready and apply my lip. Okay so as you guys can see I'm back and in the eye look definitely looks a lot better. looks way better than it did before. I had to do a lot of changes y'all and I'm sorry that I didn't record this but my camera battery actually went dead so I couldn't record it anyways but as you guys can see I just added the red. I added some more of the red glitter but I did more of a cut crease look. I initially did not want to go for a cut crease look just because I feel like I've been doing half cut creases a lot lately but the half halo eye look that I wanted to do initially it wasn't working out for me and it was just way too black way too black around my eyes and stuff so I just went ahead and really did a half cut crease so honestly if you guys are trying to recreate this look or whatnot I would definitely just go ahead and do a half cut crease or another thing if you if you would like to do the half the halo eye I would suggest you not to use as much black as I did originally as you guys saw you know in the beginning or whatever in the um video I used way too much black and that made it like very very uneven and very very unblended but highlights popping of course I went with a I wanted to do some type of pink pink highlights so I don't know if it's really coming up pink 
on camera but it's definitely a little bit more pink rose gold um in reality like in person so i wanted to do something like that for like valentine's day because if you guys didn't notice by now this is a valentine's day look and for the lower lash line i'm actually just gonna do straight pink like i want to do straight pink i want it to be very very bright pink so hopefully it's bright pink i'm gonna put my pillow weeds base on my eye under my eyes so that it will be able to pop more and i'm also going to do i don't know if i want to do a red glitter lip or just a red lip. i know i want to do a red lip because i haven't did a red lip with my channel yet so i think i know what well, i know i want to do a red lip but i don't know if i want to do like a red matte lip or if i want to do a red glitter lip i'm gonna decide that and i'll be right back period <laughs> Okay, and so while this is um, drying, because I'm not gonna go straight in with eyeshadows on top of the P. Louise base, while this is drying, I think I wanna add some type of little symbol, I guess, or whatever, to remind that it's like Valentine's Day look. I think I wanna add like a little white heart on the side. I don't know, I just feel like, I just want a little bit more to this look. So, let me see if I really wanna do that on this gift. If I do it, I think I probably do it right here like right where that dark color start me ends and right where the lighter color starts i think i want to do right there i'm a little scared though because for one i've never drawn on myself i've never did any type of like hard or anything on my face i just do strictly makeup so i don't really know how it's going to come out but honestly i feel like why not try you know heart can't really be that bad to draw you know so yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'm just going to go in with this very detailed angle brush like a the literal like most random is brush that I have in my kit over now. I'm gonna go in with this and I want you wanna use something very detailed like this so that you won't like make it too big. I don't want it too big. I want it very, very small and dainty. And I'm gonna use that Pretty Weeds base in the shade white to um to draw this heart because I want it to be white. get carried away though <laughs> I like it but I don't really know if it's showing up as a heart on camera on my end it's showing up as a heart but I don't know though. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to have to look at it on camera. You see, I mean, it looks like a heart, but I'm not sure though. Tell me what y'all think. <laughs> it's kind of too late to take it out now because I'm going to have to do all that wiping it off with, my, with makeup wipes and stuff. So I'm just keep it the way it is, honestly. It's something different, you know, something fun, something cute to add on to the eye. So I'm gonna go back in with that Back to Brazil palette because that's the palette that I've been using this whole time for this look. Of course, I use Back to Brazil palette all the time because it has literally every color that you need for a colorful look. And I just love it so much, honestly, I really do. So that's why y'all see it on my channel a lot, really. It's a light pink and I'm gonna, I mean, I've been using these shades right here. These shades is the shades that I've been using to do this look. If you guys are using this particular uh, palette to do this look, this is these are the two rows that I've been using. So I want to go in with this shade right here, but I feel like it's a little bit too light, and I feel like I don't have to really pack this color on in order to get into my to, to my um my lower lash line. So I'm probably just gonna go in with this mix this um this hot pink up 
mix this hot pink and this lighter pink together in order to get the shade that I want. And I'm gonna like really pack these two colors on because I really want it to be like very, 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 very hot pink. When I think of Valentine's Day, I think of like red and pink. So this is why I want it to be like extremely pink. This, this is the most irritating part of doing my makeup, honestly. I hate doing the lower lash line. Doing your lower lash line definitely makes the look. Y'all literally just witnessed that. Like, my look was cute, but now that I put that pink on my lower lash line, it made it pop, and it just made it come together a lot more. And, but at the same time, it's the most irritating thing ever, because it gets in your eye, and it just, like, burns and stuff like that. I mean, I guess it, it depends on how you apply it, but then again, I feel like I apply it the, the way it's supposed to be applied, and it still just burns and it irritates, honestly, but... Yeah, so I'm going to continue um, putting this stuff on my little lash line because, like I said, I want them to really pop. And then I'm going to be right back when I'm about to get ready and do my lip. Okay, so I'm back and I think I got the lip that I want to do. And it's a BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. I'll make sure to leave it out in the description box below. I haven't used this particular shade yet, but I have used the other shades like it. Well, in the same exact uh, brand or whatever you want to call it. And, well collection I'm gonna say collection and they are beautiful I have a nude one that I use a lot I have a pink one that I use a lot so I really do like this the um the the collection I just haven't uh tried to pick the red one out yet because I don't really wear red lipstick on a daily basis I must watch it for you guys I'm a little scared though because like I want it to be a a literal uh true red and this is true red it is a little bit more like purple tone rather than like pink tone but it's still a cute red and I think it'll be perfect for this look I think it'll make this look extremely like it'll make the look very very much better and also I have this other um liquid lipstick and this is from the the brand absolute New York I know you guys have heard of this um company before well not company but this brand before it's in my company and I want to swatch this one as well they kind of look alike they look similar a little bit but this absolute New York one is a lot more mattifying and also I feel like it has a lot more coverage as well and here you go right here that's the hold on this is the absolute New York one this one right here and then the one right here is the BH Cosmetics one. So I'm trying to see exactly which one I want to do. I am leaning more towards the BH Cosmetics one only because it is a little bit more red. And that's what I want for this specific look. But um, the Absolute New York one is a lot more um, full coverage. And I like that. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see which one I want to do. But regardless of whichever one I'm going to do, I am going to make sure that I do line my lips first. Because... I'm not going to go spray in with a real look. <laughs> I'm going to try the BH Cosmetics one first just because this is the one that I really want to put on. It's giving me like grandma vibes and it's all giving me like clown vibes a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. 
Okay, so I see what the problem was. I should never added that brown lip liner. See, usually, see, I have had a red, I have worn a red lip before. It was probably like two years ago. Yo, it was like two years ago. And I used to I actually love wearing red lips when it was like a special occasion or something. And it used to be like very, very cute. It's like a red slash burgundy. And I never really put a brown lip liner on, but I just felt like this this color was just was gonna need one. And that's why I put a brown lip liner on. But now that I just went over the brown lip liner with the actual lipstick, it looks so good. It really does look good. It looks very classy and it really does spring Valentine's Day. So I really am loving this. Of course I had to go over it again because it looks a little bit opaque and also um it's not really on my lips right. So don't mind that. I wanna do this off camera. And then I'll meet you guys in the outro. And also, I do want to point out that this lipstick is actually very, very mattifying. I guess it takes a little minute to, to mattify because the other brand right here, it mattified as soon as like I put it on my skin. But this one, it did take a little minute to mattify. I thought it was going to be like a lip lipstick, but it is very much so a matte lipstick, which is what I wanted. So honestly, I'm not even going to add any glitter. I was going to do glitter if I didn't like it on its own, but I really do love this red lipstick a lot. It's very, very classy looking. I definitely probably will be wearing this on the actual day of Valentine's Day because I was planning on wearing red lip for Valentine's Day. So I probably am going to use this one. I actually have a lot of different red lipsticks and different brands of red lipsticks. And I didn't know exactly which one I wanted to do, but this one is very, very cute. And also another thing that I want to point out, kind of give you guys like a review on this lipstick is that a lot of times mattifying lipsticks especially depending on the brand or how much it costs a lot of them tend to crumble after like a couple seconds of put over a couple minutes after putting them on i have experience um using lipsticks matte lipsticks that like crumble after like a couple seconds or a couple minutes of you having them on but this one off the bat it doesn't look like it'll do that honestly and it's like extremely smooth and it looks so freaking good in person like it's very very cute and it just goes so well with the red glitter and the eye and i am really loving this look y'all and this is actually one look that i would actually wear out on valentine's day i'm not but i would but like i said i'll meet you guys in the outro and yeah yes ma'am period y'all i killed this look this has to be one of my favorite looks that i have done honestly i love every and wipe some makeup on me but I, I love everything about this look honestly i love the highlight i love that i chose like a little bit more of a white pink whatever you want to call it highlight instead of like the, the natural gold that i use all the time i love that i chose this lip honestly i feel like this red lip goes so perfect with it i love that i did a red glitter instead of like you know a pink glitter i just love that i just put red and pink together when i think about Valentine's day i think of red and pink i feel like we all think of those two colors together so and I love that I incorporate a little black because you guys already know I love to add black to my um, eyeshadow colors. And I really feel like my hair goes with it as well. Even though it's a little nappy, but I feel like it goes with it in y'all. And I went through on this like little business type shirt because I just I just think of like grown and just mature. Even though, you know, I'm not really grown. I'm only 19. But I just feel like, you know, I just feel like somebody going to be out here wearing this look. I feel like somebody going to want their makeup done just like this and i'm just giving you guys a tip on how to create this look so if you guys like this video if you like how this look turns out please make sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel turn on the post notifications and also make sure that you guys comment down below any videos just to get, that you guys would like to see any makeup tutorials any challenges um, i'm gonna start doing pranks on my channel anything that you guys like to see from my channel please make sure to leave them down in the um, comment box below and i'll make sure to do them do those videos for you with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.